Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is National Test in the Gong. I welcome you to another freaky FSD supervised down under video. Now, this is no mean feat. Let me set this up so that you understand what I mean. You see this? This is the T junction we are at. So this is Engadine and the car is right now over here. Now, this is a T junction with a dual carriageway or two lanes on each side. And this is an 80 kilometers an hour road. This is an 80 kilometers an hour road, so there is high speed traffic as you're going to see in this video. And there are vehicles turning into the side lane from the other side. They're turning right into the side lane and we have to turn right too. So this is the situation and you're going to see what the car does. Without further ado, let's do this. So if you do throw a curveball, the car does do some freaky things. Okay, this is a tight left turn. We are in Engadine right now. This is a good uh, sort of a suburban streets uh, to test FSD because there'll be cars parked on either side. The roads are not very uh, very wide and there'll be cars coming in uh, from the side streets as well so this is a good spot to test FSD okay keep clear sign it wants to slow down to 13 kilometers on the 50 kilometer road I'm going to give it a bit of a nudge okay Okay. I don't want to turn into this left at all. Um, okay, we'll see what it does. Because it's a very scary left, uh, scary right to take. You see that going across to the right over there? That is a very, very scary right. Okay. Now I'm going to be super alert. If it does something silly, I'm going to uh, I'm going to take over. How is the car going to fare here? This is a very 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 difficult spot. Uh, this is a very difficult spot. So you have two lanes, high speed traffic coming here, and there are two lanes on the other side, high high speed traffic as well. What will the car do? What will the car do? This is a very, very difficult decision, even for, uh, you know, uh, general drivers, uh, because there'll be a car tra turning in from there, and we have to turn out from here, and we have to take into consideration two lanes here and two lanes on the other side. This is a very, very, very difficult spot. A very tricky spot. Let's see what logic the car would use. So they get right of way. Uh, those two vehicles there, though they get right of way. And then we'll also have to wait for uh, the traffic to ease up here. Now this is a very, very difficult spot for the car to navigate. Let's see what it'll do. What it'll do. Now, generally, what I would do is I would just take left and go and then and then find a UE somewhere and then come come back or something like that. Now, here, this is a very, very, very difficult spot. We may have to stand for a, for a fair while, but that's okay. I'm going to see if the car will do anything silly. If it will do anything silly, I'm going to stop and take over and not proceed with that. So, this is a very challenging uh, challenging drive this one extremely challenging yeah, even for even for human drivers this is a challenging uh, decision to make because we have to let them pass the ones who are trying to turn into this T junction and then we'll have to exit out taking into consideration these two lanes here where there is high speed traffic and those two lanes where there is high speed traffic on the other side too 
Now, what will the car do? What will the car do? So it's already marked this, this uh, car there, you see? Yeah, they are turning and it's watching them turn. Okay, good. Okay, it's watching all those cars turn. Okay, okay. Okay. This is a very, very difficult spot. A random uh, wiper there. I don't know why. Ooh. <laughs> I must say, this one is almost as scary as <laughs> Macquarie Pass. Now, yeah, we, we'll probably get bored of standing here for a long time and then take this left and go away. But I'm, I'm waiting for the car to try and figure this out. So I'm, I'm going to give it a little bit more time. See, it, it didn't go forward. Uh, normally, our autopilot, once it sees these two lanes, uh, these two lanes here get free, it'll start moving forward. Now, it did not move. So there's nobody turning into this right from the other lane. Now, this is a very, very tricky spot. What will the car do? What will the car do? This is, this is something that I'm not even going to nudge. I'm going to wait for the car to make the decision on its own. You guys are probably thinking, is it even worth trying to take that, uh, take this, take this right turn? But I'm, I'm, I'm doing this for the team. I'm doing this for the team. Okay, now if I nudge the vehicle forward a little bit, I'm being ready to take over because there's uh, no cars coming on the other side, on the other two lanes. But these two lanes closer to me are full of cars. Is it even possible that the car would attempt to do this turn? I don't know. This may be that one video where we only show this one, one trick that this car would do, uh, but it'll probably take about 15, 20 minutes for the car to even decide to do this. A human driver can't, can't take that call. In the end, it may not be worth doing this. It'll be much better to just take this left go and take a UV somewhere else. Yeah, now, you see, the, the, the roads are starting to clear up. Now, we, it, it, is, it is possible to attempt this turn now. It is possible to attempt this turn. Come on, mate. It's possible to attempt this turn. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Don't go, don't go. Don't go. It's doing the right thing and not going. Oh, this is the sweetest, sweetest turn. Wow! Rajini, you mate. This is amazing. This is amazing. This is amazing. This is worth its own video. This is phenomenal. Wow. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Now this is almost there, right up there, along with uh, <laughs> along with <laughs> along with the Macquarie Pass Drive. This is sound logic. Absolutely sound logic. This is absolutely sound logic. I absolutely love this. This is fabulous. Now there are some construction zones coming up. Let's see what the car would do. Uh, two, these two lanes are now closed. It should now ask for, uh, ask for, uh, ask for going to the left lane. Come on. Okay. It should recognize this. 
Okay, not too bad. Okay, I thought uh, I thought this lane is being closed, but that is not too bad. What do you guys think? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. This is definitely one of the most difficult um, logic that the car has attempted in the last what forty eight hours that we've been testing this. Wow, that was so good. Yes, it took a lot of time, but as a human driver, we would have also had to wait for so long. Didn't it do it magnificently? Yeah, whether it's worth it, I don't know. I would have just taken the left and gone. But this was an absolutely magnificent, uh, magnificent uh, uh, drive, that one. Guys, this is awesome. This is Nash from Tesla and Lavong signing off. Peace.